everybody, welcome to Pepe's Plants. I'm here to show you guys a little bit of uh, info on planting coffee seeds. So, coffee arabica is the most commonly grown, about 75 to 80% of the coffee in the world is grown, uh, this plant, coffee arabica. And this is not going to be a lot about coffee arabica per se, this is going to be about planting seeds. Regardless of if you're going to grow coffee arabica or coffee canifera, which is also known as robusta, regardless, there are some basic principles of planting seeds and with coffee, uh, you got to get pretty fresh seed. So, so these here are the Robusta, and uh, I clipped them off. They're ready, they're nice and, they're kind of like a brownish, slightly purplish color. Now, in most of, the, most of the times when I plant, I usually use these trays here, which are very lightweight, uh, very easy uh, to plant in with the whatever uh, soil media you're gonna use. And I like to use either coconut fiber uh, or I, I like to use ProMix and sometimes I resort to other things that you know are from the garden center and uh, they're not always the best choices but it's what's available I do make sure that I get a quality uh, potting soil uh, as opposed to a, a garden soil that's really important so anyway going back to these seeds uh, I've already cleaned out I've already cleaned out about 50 of the seeds and there's two seeds per cherry Okay, these are the cherries. These are called the cherries. So when you open these guys up, you have two slippery seeds inside. This is a little cone that's about 10 inches long, okay? And I just got these the other day, and I'm gonna be experimenting with these. These are actually pretty, pretty neat little system. So with this system here, you get 98 of them in these trays. And this is the tray, or the rack, that holds them uh, all in place. And the reason I chose these is because you see, you just slip them in here, like that, and you're good to go. You got a tray. So this is gonna be Robusta, and on this side, I'm gonna do Arabica on this side as soon as I get some fresh seed, which they should be coming in about a week. Utilize the container to plant your coffee seed. You wanna use something that's at least, at least 10 inches deep because the key element here with these seeds is that they develop a really nice, long, healthy taproot. And if this is smaller or shallow, uh, you're going to end up with a curving taproot, which is really not conducive to field planting. Okay, If you're growing seed and you're just going to have some plants for your home use, uh, it's really not as major a deal, but you should still try to use as deep as you can uh, so that you get good seed development on that root and you get some laterals, plenty of laterals for container growing. Field growing, you want a nice straight, very nice healthy taproot. Okay, so if you're going to plant your seed, whatever medium you're going to use, I'm using a uh, professional mix that by the way this one is very nice it has enough perlite in it to give me lots of porosity but still maintain moisture in there so that my seeds don't dry out um, the other thing that's nice is this has mycorrhiza mycorrhiza is great because it's going to help that that root system get off to a much healthier start and also it's going to help it branch out and do really well mycorrhiza is an is a fungi that has a symbiotic relationship with the roots of your plant so your seed is going to be planted after it's been taken out of the cherry, okay? So get it out of the cherry, take it out, separate them, okay? Just clean them a little bit. I've actually planted many coffee plants where I never even cleaned them. I just took the cherry and popped it in the ground and they grew fine. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to show you that I've taken them, I've cleaned them, I've cleaned them pretty good, I mean I clean them perfect, they're still sticky because they're that fresh, I just got them today. And that's what you want to do, within a day or two of getting your fresh cherries, you want to get them in to the ground, uh, or I should say you want to get them into your uh, container. Okay so when I'm planting them in these tubes, pretty much what I did is, I'm going to take this seed out because it's not planted yet, what I did is I filled the tubes up with the soil, okay. I went ahead after I filled it with the soil and I watered every one of these two or three times so the water completely went to the bottom. I saw water come out the bottom and then I took my little stick and I just pushed down all the way to the bottom. I make sure that you know my soil uh, was wet all the way um, to make sure that uh, my, my, my water had penetrated and also to kind of break up uh, any compaction that's in there. And then I went ahead and I planted the seeds. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to take a little bit of soil and I'm just going to put a little bit of soil on the surface. Okay, so now our seeds are all in place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a little bit of a little bit of soil and we're just going to sprinkle it over the top. And that's the way it's going to stay. It's just going to stay like that. I'm not going to water it. It's got plenty of moisture in there already. This whole tray is going to get moved to a spot that's underneath a tree. It's going to be bright, but it's going to be filtered, so it's not going to be direct sunlight. We don't want direct sunlight for these guys. These guys are going to be growing, and we want them to not get cooked by the intense sunlight. Besides, coffee is a plant that prefers to grow in um, a shadier environment underneath the canopy of, uh, I should say, the understory of other trees and we want to get these guys off to a good start so I'll continue I'll fill up this entire this entire 50 uh, actually 48 tubes that are here and uh, we'll move them over to a shady spot and uh, we'll be all set to go all right well once again thank you for checking out my YouTube channel I hope you found the information useful I have a lot more information on peppiesplants.com. Well, I hope you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, check us out, and uh, we're going to be here on peppiesplants.com and right here on the YouTube channel. Thank you, guys.